Hello folks, it's the Siggy. Welcome to my latest video. What I'm looking at is the KRA base breach events. Okay, let me throw something out there. This is not the way to do it. It's my way. If you've got a better way, or you're told a better way, do that. Okay. I'm currently on power level 2. I started a video on power level 1 to do it from scratch, but surprise, surprise, the game crashed. Okay. The key to any of these events is usually in the prep. If you go into VIP and you have badges enabled, these do come on offer occasionally. One of the best ones you can have is Invincible. Why? As we scroll along here, for any event against the KRA, you consume, it's actually 50% less recovery in battles against the KRA, i.e. it doesn't deplete as quick. Mine says 75 because I've got the Energizer boost, which costs 65 um, gold stars for a 24 hour boost. So it's took that to a 75% less recovery. So it slows it down. Okay, that's the first thing. Um, when we actually go on to the event, a major key is the is the setup. So let's click on attack here. If we go into event shop, we've got two agents that we can use, Sergeant Molotov or Agent Storm. For me, 100%, hands down every single time, it's Agent Storm. And it will become apparent the reasons why when you play it yourself. Sergeant Molotov, just as a background, um, the increases are just uh, an increase in power-ups. Now, unless you want to spend gold stars, we're looking at oops, power-ups. Um, forgetting gold stars. We're looking at hearts. Well, that means if I've got hearts, I can actually unlock the whole bloody lot it's 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 nothing advantageous as you'll see anyway sorry I'm waffling a little bit okay agent storm we upgrade the vehicles now when we start off on level one what I always do is I use cash only units it means anybody in your faction can play this it's based on your own so on cheap cash units there are 200 uh, sorry War Fortress and War Marksman. War Marksman are 850. A full refill. EMP attacks. That's the only uh, power up I use, EMPs. You can start off on these. It will work up to level 1. Once you get to power level 2, you really need to be using um, EMP to attack 2 which will cost you hearts if you've got plenty of hearts and I have I start off with EMP 2s incidentally you only need these on the large turrets okay we're set up we're set up with these units here the war fortress oops which gives our highest amount of defense because they've only got a small attack, it means they have to get close to the targets. The fact that they get close to the targets is they get attacked first. The marksmen, on the other hand, are a long range unit and stay at the back whilst these are taking all the damage for us. It will be obvious when I put this into action. Okay. Because I've started on level two and I've added a few uh, stars just to take my level up I've also got my marksman 2 and my war fortress 2 because we're at level 2 now power level 2 however you will see we don't really need the higher units just yet it's about getting results okay so we're in there uh, let's go and fight okay 
on these first levels, when I deploy, half of them are war fortresses and half are marksmen's. That's it. That's all that matters. I don't know. 15, 17, 12, I don't know. How many is that? I usually try and do it so that I've got around about 10 or 12 left in there. Just in case I want to use EMPs. At the moment, it's just dragging straight to this. I'm going to take it onto the power node. And there we go. Good job done. Okay. Each time I'm going to refill all. It's only costing coins. It means that your brand new or your brand new um, faction members can do this as well. Okay, refill all, go to the next level. The next level is going to cost us uh, three ammunition. What people do is they come out to check where they are, they retreat because they know they've got some value. The trouble is it costs a lot more to go back into it. So refill all each time. This is why I don't use stars. And go to your next level. Again, we're going to use our low value units. I'm going to put my fortresses first. I'm going to place them at the front of the grid. 15, 17, whatever. The others somewhere at the back, it doesn't really matter. Let me just show you the difference once we've built up here. What you can do is if you set the war fortress off at the back, oops, and then the marksman at the front, they sort of set off at the same time, which is a bad thing because it means these are trying to take all the, uh, absorb all the attack from these turrets. I'm not even going to bother with EMPs this time. We want these war fortresses to take the brunt of it. Refill all, next stage 15. If you'd have actually come out at this stage, you know you're going to be paying 30 to get back in. We also know that we're at the first checkpoint, the six on each level. And most of these are done the same sort of way. I'm going to use my um, other units, my cheaper ones. I want to maximize on my return. I've got 10 left there. This time I'm just going to show you what I mean with the EMPs. Let's just drop them on there. There are six seconds. Just keep doing it, give it a couple of seconds. It means this time it's going to cost you a few hearts, but hey ho, you've earned some. I will keep going on this just up to the end, just to show you how easy this is. Refill all, it's cost me 76 hearts, but I've already won some anyway. Did I win any that time? Yeah. Next level is going to cost us three smaller units. We know we've got to go on to We've got a power node there. I used to try and do this with uh, artillery, just straight on the power node. It works for the first few levels, but after a while it's uh, irrelevant. What I sometimes do is I just deploy the lot, because I start to think, would Game Loft produce a game where you deployed every single unit, but still couldn't win? God, that'd be terrible. So I just deploy the lot. Doesn't matter. It'll take it. And use it later, just... Allow nature to follow its own course. Nature, good lord. Written by coders. Perhaps not quite nature. I could have dropped an EMP there. As it is, I didn't bother. Okay, refill all. Next stage, 15. Okay, checkpoint two. Same again. Cheap units. And this is all uh, relative. So when you get to the higher levels and you're using thorium units, uh, the level threes, use your heart units, if that makes sense. Uh, later on. Drop a couple of them there. Sometimes I'll skip that and drag my units straight over to the power node, but just take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Don't worry about it looks looking like your units are 
getting out of health. Because even if it does turn to rats, what we can do... Is, because we've got loads of these units, and we've got a load more points, we can just do about half and half. I'll keep going half and half. It'll do it. A lot. Again, on this mentality that, good lord, could you produce a game where you deploy all your units and you can't win? Okay, this is where it changes slightly for me. Um, what I will do is I'll start to attack from this side, because we've got a large turret here, large there, and that's right in the corner. If you make your own um, adjustments on your faction, you'll know it's a, a decent place. We're out of the way. But hey-ho, we digress. Um, I could actually drag my units to that one first by just merely clicking on it. We'll do that this time. 15 or 16. Okay. Do you know what? I'm going to do the lot as well. Now I'm going to stay on here. I'm not going to go on to power-ups. I'm going to allow it just to go its own. Oh, I am now. I'm going to go natural. So we've got a power-up on there and a power-up on there. Some of these they'll just wander off on their own. Like a very good friend of mine always says just when I think in my life I've got all my ducks in a row a few of the buggers just wander off on their own so we've lost these units over here but hey ho, no worries we can go straight to this or we can just allow the game to play itself out not a major problem big turrets we're going to use our EMPs we're starting to win uh, resources now so it doesn't really matter and we know we've still got 130 points in there we can deploy more units. Now on this one, look, there we go, it's killed us all. We'll start again. We want the war fortresses out first. So make sure they're at the front, or when you give them a little bit of a space. I have no handful of them, and some of these. At this point, because you've got a couple of them big turrets, we could, oops, we could put an EMP down on each. Keep going. But remember our fortresses are there to absorb all this. Okay, I don't know how long we've been on now. Probably far too long, but we can't really go much quicker. Could I go by the game speed? Thankfully it's not crashed on this level. So next stage is 15. So we're at checkpoint 3. Three more to go. Okay, over on this one. Because we've got our turrets at this point, I'm going to click on that one again. Um, yeah, I'm just going to use my lower value units. I might regret this, but there we go. And we've left 18 there, so we've got one on there, one on there. I'm also going to go one on there. Now this is where it's going to try and wander off. I don't want it to, so let's bring it over this way on a little bit. Take it over there, onto that, straight onto that. Put an EMP there. Oh, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. EMP onto there. It doesn't matter that our units are dying. You'll know that in the later rounds you've got to let it play out. Allow it to go its own natural course or its programmed course. Um, it's got a couple of EMPs on them. Go back onto units. And again, I'm just using my cheap units. I'm only on level 2 here. Um, it's only coins, it's cost. Ah, let's just do the bloody lot. Look at that. Let's overwhelm it. And again, because you've got so many units there, they're just going to make light work of it. Yeah, we could waste some more EMPs, but it doesn't really matter. As it is, it's cost us 91, and we won 300. But it's only cost us cash again. So it means your faction members are building up vital stuff for your, for your faction. Or you're doing your own malarkey. Okay, this one's slightly different. Instead of actually going directly to the turrets, because we've got clearance here, 
we'll click onto the power node. I'm going to use my bigger units now. I'm winning hats, so I can use them. Um, so about 15 of these. The other thing is the units that I've chosen are quite cheap to uh, to use compared to some of the others. It's a careful balance. I'm going to drop an EMP on that one. And I'm also going to drop an EMP just there. There we go, decent bit of timing. Now we could drag this over onto the power node, but as it is, it's just going to go naturally there these uh, attack units are going to take out the rest of it. There we go. That's safe. One more on there. Sometimes I'll click an EMP on these and sometimes I won't. Again, the points that we've got. We've got absolutely plenty. We've got loads of units left. of EMPs on these. We can do some more units. We can use the cheap ones if we want this time. There's enough there. I could have probably got away with the coin units, the level 1 units. There we go. Right, there we go. Nearly done. Nearly done. Cost us 300 hearts, but we won 600. No worries. So, checkpoint four. Two more to go. Okay, as we come over here, um, where do I go on this one? Normally, I, I there. This is where I draw it to. Some people might say it's silly, but maybe there would be better. Do as you like. Not bothered. I don't get paid for these. They're not even monetized. Not because I'm rich. But just because I'm stupid. Right, and I'm going to drag that straight to there. Then they're going to go over towards that one. I need to drop that on. Say so some of these are getting a bit depleted, but hey ho, it doesn't matter. Again, a bit of an EMP on there. A bit of an EMP. As opposed to the big EMP. I can say round one, you can get away with the uh, EMP level ones. The EMP attack ones. But if you've got the hearts, I think, I think you need to start with at least, um, I reckon about a thousand hearts. Again, if you you think it's a different number, or you know it's a different number, just let me know in the, in the comments. Probably won't do anything. Okay, we've got um, two parts on here. What I tend to do at this point is I just release some more units at this side of the board. So we've got some fortresses to absorb anything. It's going over there. Allow it to follow a natural course to take this. An EMP on of these, and then go straight to that. Job done. Okay. And then the final level, which incidentally is the easiest, because if you do lose a life here, it will allow you to pick up from where you left off. So, on this one, we click over here onto our um, power node. Let's get some of these out, 15 or 16 or so, let's get up to about 30, let's have a look, see where we need to get some EMPs, one on there, one on there and one on there. This is more so again for the later levels, you need to be quick getting the EMPs out on the turrets, else you'll get demolished. It's just about working methodically, unlike what I'm doing all over the place. It doesn't matter. We're nearly done. 
nearly done. Normally to get the uh, the next units um, where we're spending for thorium, we're usually looking about power level 5 or 6. And again here we've got plenty of um, strength left to go where we want. Oh, we haven't got one more level left, we've got two more. Have we? One, two. It'll tell me final level. Oh, I've done that silly. Right, let's start again and put some more units down. It doesn't matter that they're going to die. We're going to go oops, straight for that. And I can't deploy them. Sometimes the game goes a bit funny. Oh, it's why we love you. Oh, there we go. We've nearly done it anyway. Um, refill all. Our next stage, ah, yes, sorry, I beg your pardon. That was level 5, or checkpoint 5. On here, we're going to go back to that same uh, power node first basis. I'm going to drop an EMP on there. We're going to use our level 2 units. If you can hear some whining in the background, I'm sorry, it's my dog. He doesn't understand I'm trying to make a video. Okay, let's drop that on there. And because I've got the time, I'm going to put one on that turret as well. I know I don't normally bother, but it saves it a little bit. Heal, I find, uh, doesn't really help. Um, artillery strike only works up to a point. EMP is just, I don't know, it's the master of all, I think. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. This is the level, I beg your pardon, that if you lose a life, it will allow you just to pick up from where you left off, not the last one. I could put another uh, EMP down there, but we've got by way of units at loads. Okay. I'm just going to let it go naturally again. I'm not going to decide where these units should go. So let's go, I don't know, 5 or 10 or something, about the same. Maybe I'll sod it. Let's just fill that up. Let's go a little bit mad. Power-ups. Now we're there. Put it on some of these early ones. And then we can, oops, click on units, go onto that. Now we're onto that one, that power node. There we go. Nice and easy. And again, what we can do is we can drop, which you'll need to do later, power-ups on uh, uh, EMPs on these large turrets. Or you can throw more units down. As I say, we've got 400 odd points there. There we go, folks. Refill all. Our next stage would actually take us out to um, the next level. But it says we've completed that enemy base. So we retreat. And that's took us up to checkpoint 6. So we're going to start again on an enemy power 3. Guys, good luck. Thank you for watching the Siggy.